Moving to Texas and want to know what it's all about? Well, everybody's always wearing a cowboy hat, and boots, and jeans. Everybody carries a gun and they're always shooting stuff. No, seriously, that's not even true. Well, I mean, it may be true for some people and it may be true on TV or in the movies, but stay tuned and I'm gonna give you the perspective from someone that is born and raised in Texas. the Lone Star State. We love our Texas flag. Let me tell you, when I was growing up, we would get up at school and we would always stand up and say the Pledge of Allegiance to the U.S. flag and then we would pledge allegiance to the Texas flag. I don't think I'll ever forget it. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Texans are proud. We do love our state. Let's talk about some of the official things of Texas. First of all, the official tree of Texas is the pecan tree. Some say pecan. I don't say pecan. I say pecan. So the official tree of Texas is the pecan tree. The official flower is the blue bonnet. Um, it would not be unusual on Sunday after leaving church for your family to be all dressed up and to stop in the median on the highway to get everybody out so that you can go get a family picture in the blue bonnets. Probably not very safe, I agree, but very, very common to see that happening. The official bird is the mockingbird and they are tough, let me tell you. I have mockingbirds flying around my house and they're always picking on the bigger birds. So that's always fun to watch. The official small mammal of Texas is the armadillo. And the official large mammal of Texas is the longhorn. The official fish of Texas is the bass. And the official insect is the monarch butterfly. We actually have a place um, called the Acton Nature Center where they tag the monarchs, uh, not to hurt them in any way, but to be able to track where they go. They are a beautiful butterfly and very, very recognizable. The official state dish of Texas is chili, and the official state snack is chips and salsa. I, for one, that is probably one of my favorite foods, is chips and salsa. The official song is Texas Are Texas, and there's nothing better than hearing that fighting Texas Aggie band doing their rendition of Texas Our Texas. So what is Texas known for? Well, first of all, Dr. Pepper was invented here. And probably about 40 miles south from where I live is Dublin, Texas, where they made Dr. Pepper with pure cane sugar. Something else that Texas is known for is football. We love our Dallas Cowboy football, and we love our high school football. Around here, the whole town's gonna pick up and go watch the high school team play. We're also known, if you ever come around in October, for homecoming moms. It's the most interesting thing. I don't think anybody else does it, but the gentlemen, uh, the young men give the girls homecoming moms and the girls give the guys garters. And these homecoming moms are these most gigantic moms that have streamers on them and bells. And that's something that we do for homecoming. Something else we're known for is Tex-Mex. That's probably why chips and salsa is the official snack is because of Tex-Mex. And then one of my favorites is Whataburger. Actually, it's really called What a Burger, but we all call it Whataburger. One of my favorites, I love to water size my fries or Growing up, um, when my dad would do something special on a Saturday and bring us home Whataburger, he probably got him a, a small fry just to eat on the way home whenever he was bringing our food to us. Something else Texas is known for is bats. We have all kinds of bats in Texas, and not necessarily bad. Um, it would not be uncommon to be sitting by my pool at night and uh, around dusk and seeing the bats just flying over and eating the mosquitoes. Uh, something else we're known for is saying, bless her heart. So in Texas, as long as you say bless your heart before you start talking about somebody, you can say whatever you want. <laughs> and something else we say a lot is we're fixing to, uh, which means I'm, I'm fixing to get up and go do that, or I'm fixing to make dinner, or I'm fixing to do the dishes. So fixing to means I'm about to. Something else I think that we're known for 
is making the shape of Texas into everything. Um, I used to own a pair of glasses that were sunglasses and they were in the shape of Texas. Um, it wouldn't be uncommon to see someone wearing a necklace in the shape of Texas or eating off a plate in the shape of Texas or even a piece of furniture that is a side table that is in the shape of Texas. So things that Texans hate, mosquitoes. Probably the number one thing is mosquitoes. The other thing we hate is sunburns, uh, winter and summer. And Texas is probably the only place that you can get four seasons worth of weather in four days too. So we, we absolutely hate that. Some of the reasons that people want to move to Texas, probably because we have a really strong job market. We're known to have strong wages in the state of Texas. Uh, the cost of living is low compared to other states. We have no state income tax and housing is affordable here compared to other states. I work with a lot of people that are moving here because it's just gotten to be not affordable for them to live in their state, however beautiful it is. And they just wanna come here because our housing is affordable. The other thing is land is available. And um, people want to spread out and they want to not be right on top of each other. And so land is available. And I think um, probably one of the greatest reasons people want to move to Texas is because they feel like it's a safe place. Um, Texans are proud, we're friendly. We love our history, we love our family, we love our independence, and uh, most of all, you're in the Bible Belt and we love Jesus. So uh, if you wanna come and be a part of Texas, love to have you, and uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We post new videos weekly, and thanks for watching.